Hi, everybody. Welcome to Hope TV. I'm Kelly Burns with Stars of Hope USA. We have a very special Thursday evening edition of Hope TV with our Ambassador of Hope volunteer extraordinaire, Jade Smith. Hi, Jade. Hi. Hi, Kelly. Thank you for being here. Great to see you. Yes, yeah, good to see you, too. So we invited Jade here tonight um, because, Jade, you've been with us for a while. You've been volunteering. Um, but can you um, just talk about your history with Stars of Hope and how how we all met and came together? Yes, absolutely. Um, it's been several years now. Um, right after the, the shooting that happened on um, December 2nd in San Bernardino, uh, Stars of Hope came out to our Winter Wonderland parade and event at the um, community park. And I was walking through the park and saw the stars and was just drawn to it and started talking to the people that were there and um, somehow just kind of became part of part of that group. Um, I volunteered at that same event every year since and a lot of other events. Um, I've had a lot of the team, I'm an elementary school teacher, or I was, sorry, at the time, an elementary school teacher. And I had some of the team come to the school. I partnered with Lynn Hildebrand, who works with our local Humane Society. She's absolutely amazing. And uh, we partnered together and she volunteers at every event and she's helped to do a lot of things with my students and um, school-wide and district-wide events. So uh, she really helps to make that possible. But yeah, it was it was at that um, parade, just walking by that energy just kind of sucked me in, I guess. <laughs> That's very cool. What other events have you done, Jade? Um, so obviously the, the Winter Wonderlands, I think there's been three or four of those since. Uh -huh. um, I've done some events at the elementary school that I worked at. Um, I, I worked in a very low income, high crime area, and the students are in need of hope and in need of um, positivity and just reminders that there's, you know, things can get better and to keep your, your head up and, and your eyes on um, a brighter future. So I really focused on hope with them. So, um, we did a lot of events there. We had a, a yearly carnival that they would, um, uh, that we did Stars of Hope at. So that was really nice. Um, that was actually a huge, it's a huge event. There's thousands of attendees that come there. Um, we did some events at uh, North Park Elementary School that Lynn organized and got into and I uh, helped her there. Um, we, uh, Renee Wetzel and I went to Las Vegas and brought a lot of the stars that both her, her children had painted at their schools and my students had painted at my school. Okay. Uh, we took stars to Las Vegas on the first anniversary of the shooting that happened there. And we did a, a big event that was really awesome. Yeah. Um, and one of my favorite events I think that I did, uh, I also did with Renee Wetzel was it was called it was black black something studios it was an art event at a high school in rialto and a lot of teenagers came out and it was um there was an art teacher that was helping uh, and she was using the stars in her classroom and she had prefaced you know the the stars of hope event in her classroom so the students were prepared um and they brought out some of their their art techniques and those stars were just fantastic. And just seeing those students pour their hearts into them and putting really heartfelt messages on the back of those stars was really awesome. That was, that was a really cool event. What I wish about, I could remember the, the name of it. It sounds, yeah, it sounds amazing. What about those messages really like uh, called to you or meant something? They were, they were very heartfelt. They, they were full of, meaning they weren't you know working with elementary school students sometimes um they don't always put the messages on the back as much you know sometimes they'll write a message but they want to get to the art part which i respect 
Um, but the high school students just, they wrap their heads around it a little bit differently. And, and I think partially because they came to it with, with an idea of what they were doing. Um, they just, they were just very heartfelt and they were, they were very uplifting. They were sharing experiences and sharing um, how art has helped them to feel better and to, to have hope and to, to be uplifted. And it just, I just really felt that they were pouring their energy into those yeah. stars and it, it was great. That's really cool. Um, when you went to Vegas, Jade, I'm, I'm curious because, um, cause going from California to Vegas, I mean, that's a, I mean, it's a big, that's a commitment. That's a big trip. You're taking stars there. What about that was like meaningful for you? Um, were you taking stars that you made or you student that your students made and you're bringing them to this? I mean, this was a big anniversary. Can you talk more about that trip? So we actually were working with the um, community center there in Vegas. The, it was like a victim outreach. They had a huge okay. victim outreach in um, Las Vegas that they had organized. And they had put together an event for the victims and people that have, had been affected for the one year anniversary. So we actually attended the one year anniversary and had stars available for people to paint. Mm -hmm. So for victims to paint, um, community members, things like that to come out and paint. And then we also took some stars that had been painted there and some stars that we had brought with us from San Bernardino and in Renee's case from Arrowhead. And we hung those um, along the, where the Las Vegas sign is. Um, I don't know if you remember in the news, there was the man, I believe he recently passed away, um, the man that had driven from Illinois with the crosses. He had made a cross for each person that had died um, at the concert in October. And um, so those were all displayed and then we hung the stars along the gates um, around there. And it was, it was really beautiful. It was, it was really great. Wow. Um, it sounds, I think we have pictures online from that specific event. It's really, oh, I'm, sh I'm sure yeah. it, it was absolutely beautiful. Just yeah. how it was all organized and it was, it just really came together. It was a great tribute. Yeah. Um, Jade, as a teacher, I'm, I'm curious to know more about like your thoughts on, um, the importance about hope and keeping hope. Um, because uh, you volunteered with us for, well, several years now, you know, it's, it's, it's almost, this is like very much part of you. So I'm curious how it, it comes out, maybe even through your teaching or how you share it with your students. Um, oh, there I am. Um, having positivity and looking towards the future has always been something that I've really tried to focus on. So Stars of Hope just really came naturally and just made sense to me and kind of gave me an avenue to, to lead towards in my um, teaching. So um, when I was in ele elementary school, especially, I haven't been successful in completely embedding in my high school classes yet, but it's definitely something that I'm working on. Um, but I love being able to teach students that you know, bad things happen and bad things are going to happen, but we have to have hope for the future. And we have to have that, that glimmer that something positive is going to happen. And we have to, um, you know, rise above that and find the good in every situation. And like I said, this, the students that I teach are not coming from happy families with two parents and everything they need. You know, they're, they're coming from, it's a low income, high crime area, and they come with a lot of experiences. Um, I mean, there's there's just all kinds of, of different things that these children have witnessed and, and been a part of. And I think it's, I know it's very important for them to just realize uh, regardless of what's going on around them, there's always a reason to believe that something better is coming and to, you know, just keep on looking forward and lifting each other up, supporting each other lifting each other up. I know, especially when I was um, in sixth grade, you know, that middle school phase, really just teaching kids to band together and support each other, lift each other up and, you know, fill each other with their positive energy and not 
not tear each other down. Yeah. It made a it made a gigantic difference in the classroom. I it can, was yeah, I can only imagine. It was yeah. really great. It's wonderful to hear. I think. I mean, Stars of Hope, I think we try to really emphasize that community part. We're, we're, as we're making art, as we're painting stars, that's, we're doing it together. That's the, the unity and community. Um, and you recognize that immediately and you, you spread that through your classroom, even online, like right now you're trying to do, um, which is not an easy thing to do at all, but um, I'm sure it, it shines through no matter what. Um, so certainly if like if there's if we can help in any way we we would love to um so any any thoughts on what we can share with our viewers jade like just on what moving forward like you know florida starting where i am is starting to open up california is kind of getting there um kind of like what you said there's like maybe a lot of division going on with the adult world perhaps yeah um how can we all just keep hope? How can we all just, you know, build each other up and not tear each other down? Um, I think it's very important to make sure we're not focusing on the negativity. You know, I, I'm on social media um, and there's a lot of people that I don't necessarily agree with, but really the number one thing I don't agree with that some people are doing is just tearing each other down and being negative. Um, at this point, we just need to all support each other and support where we're at in this journey. None of us have done this before. You know, it's um, we've got to focus on the positive and we've got to focus on a better day is coming. You know, we're, we're learning every day. We this is all new. We don't we no one knows. No one is experienced in what's going on. And we have to just respect that we're all handling it in different ways uh, and just handle the negativity in a positive way. You know, being negative with someone that's already feeling negative is not going to help. So I think it's it's really easy to get into those arguments, you know, especially when someone is vehemently, ve struggling here, when they're really, um, you know, supporting their negative view on something and they're really tearing someone down. It's hard to not respond with negativity, but we have to respond in an uplifting way. We have to find that that glimmer of hope and, and positivity and try at least to to spread that. Um, I know just earlier today, someone posted something about um, some new guidelines that came out and they were like, see, we didn't need to do this all along. And I was like, wow, new information. I'm so happy that we're learning and there's new information. And he was just kind of like, huh? <laughs> That's not what I was expecting. So, you know, just respond with positivity, support each other. That's all we can do. If you don't agree with what someone's doing, that's okay. It's okay. And I, I love that you, you said, um, I want to highlight a, a better day is coming. This, this isn't going to last forever. That's, and that's what the hope is. A better day is coming. Yes, this too shall pass. Yeah, much like you, you tell your students and we can tell each other, a better day is coming. Very yep. cool. Well, Jade, um, thank you so much for sharing everything, your, your story with Stars of Hope. Um, I hope we hope and a better day is coming that we can do an in-person event and you can be there and we can all be making stars together <laughs> um, as a community again. Um, but until then, um, thank you so much for everything that you do. Um, and thank you, everybody, for watching um, Hope TV. And we'll see you next week. Thank you so much, Kelly. It was great seeing you. Thank you, Jade. Bye.